Now, right now we got Sean Cummings, writer and letterer. What's up, Sean? How's it going, man? Did I say your last name right, Cummings? Yes, Cummings. Cool, man. Talk to us, man. What's going on in the booth over there? Uh, we're uh, working on a little book called uh, Power. It's, uh, it's an American Sentai, you know, like the Power Rangers and nice. stuff like that. We're, we want to do like an, uh, an American, like mature take on the genre. Okay. So uh, we're, we've been we've been working on that. We're here selling selling some art, trying to raise money for our colors. So that's, that's cool. Uh, yeah. What is a little bit of the storyline of the comic? Uh, it's well, I mean, um, the, the nice thing about Sentai is it's a formula. Okay. So we have like the five teenagers. They get the powers. Uh, they fight evil aliens. But the thing is, is we took the story seriously. Oh, so okay. um, like, uh, it's not just like five random teenagers, yeah. and they're not like they're not like all friends or anything. Yeah. You know, they're they're teenagers, and some of them hate each other. You know, they're, they're not very much a team. You know, teen angst. So it's not like never to or never to the college. Okay. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Don't do that. That's no, no. It's uh, uh, like I said, it's much more. It, uh, it's much more violent. It's much more uh, mature, realistic. Okay. Like, uh, we're we're huge fans of like kind of like the, I guess like the Michael Bay, Ridley Scott kind of like get in the face, like gritty right. real, uh, gritty realism. So we're trying to translate that kind of mentality into a, a comic storyteller. Uh, a genre that doesn't have anything that takes it seriously. So, you know, that's where we're, where we're going. Where do you guys draw some of your inspiration for uh, your comics? Well, uh, obviously, originally, like Power Rangers, okay. um, uh, Big Man, uh, original Transformers, uh, just uh, like all those like 80s and 90s cartoons, like those things that you grew up watching Saturday morning, um, just uh, just kind of like has shaped everything that we do now. And because uh, as we look at the current batch of like action, action uh, cartoons and comics, and it's. Uh, it's just not uh, not the quality that I think we had as a kid. Like, right. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta dig too much for it. You yeah. know. Yeah. Back in the day, it was just you know, turn on the channel, boom, back to back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, now you gotta like, search for everything. Well, not anymore because there's like five thousand channels on TV now, and there's a lot of watered down production on TV. So I mean, there's, there's some Cartoon Network starting to jump yeah. up, you know, like Cartoon Network got the hub now. So you know, we might be getting back to it. You know, they got some good cartoons out, but. Yeah, not not, 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 not what we used to, you know. We used to just now we're recycling old cartoons. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, yeah. uh, the the bar is coming back. Like I've, yeah. I've seen, I've been watching some of the stuff lately. Um, uh, it's it's getting there, but like it's you're right. Like it just there was like ten years there where we had no good cartoons. Yeah, you know? exactly. Everything was uh, everything was Pokemon. Or, or like Spongebob. Like just, yeah. Oh, I hate Spongebob. Oh, yeah, I can't stand Spongebob. <laughs> I don't know how they've made so much money with that cartoon. It's incredible. The amount of money with the worst, one of the worst cartoons ever made. It's not bad. It's horrible. I, I, it's I will give you this. Like, it was original for what it did, but, like, after a while, it just got... It just gets annoying. It, yeah, yeah, it just... And then, like, everybody tried to copy it. And it was yeah, like, I, like, I tried watching that cartoon, and I, can't, I don't laugh once. And I like watching cartoons. Even funny cartoons, like, I don't laugh. It's not funny to me. Yeah, it's and just, this is the humor. I guess it's, it's lost on me. But. Yeah, it's just not the level of creativity yeah. that you saw in the like, in just like the the, the '90s cartoons. I love yeah. the '90s cartoons. Yeah. The '90s. Yeah. 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 Where did you? I said I thought you liked that cartoon. Which one? SpongeBob. I do. I do. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's horrible. Like like you know the Jackal said, but you know no, I, I just like uh, that. <laughs> after after a while, you know it, it gets under the skin. The Jackal's a hater. Yeah, I just, I hate the Jackal's no sense. He's a sponge in the water. He's got bones. He's got a big bones in his body. He's got no human with thick bones. None. <laughs> I've got no soul in his body. He's just jealous that he didn't come up with it. Oh yeah, man, no everybody's business. jealous that he come up with that. Yeah, he's like a billionaire. No kidding. He's got his signature and all the toys. <laughs> yeah, the, it's funny, the creator of Spongebob was uh, a comedian who never really was like, an actor. Oceanographer. Oceanographer. But he was, no, it wasn't and, he was a really good comedian. He was, yeah, he was, he was hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. And then Spongebob <laughs> is just like, no, what, like, what happened, dude? <laughs> no, he's not writing him, obviously. <laughs> what he's sitting back just collecting the money. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> that, that was so, like, uh, you guys have a website for, for your one? Uh, we do. We do. Uh, it's codenamepower.com, all, like all one word. Uh, we're revamping it. Uh, it should be right after this weekend. We just we got caught up trying to get ready for the convention. So, yeah, no kidding. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll be having new content put up on there. Um, and then... Uh, uh, yeah, that's including power. We'll be linking everything from there. So, Very like cool. all the, we have art up from the new issue coming up from uh, the other uh, artist website, Travis Ramos. Uh, he's the co-creator and the uh, and penciler and you know, inker. So, cool. This is the first time you guys do Megacon, or you've been here? Oh no, this is like our backyard connection. We do this every year. Oh, you do it every year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So, you guys have a DeviantArt page? Oh, DeviantArt, you must. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, well, Travis does because he's the artist. I don't really art. Um, I believe it's. Uh, I have the card. Oh, he's digging through the pockets. Yeah. 
Do a search on DeviantArt for Travis. <laughs> Travis uh, well, it's, uh, I think it's Diabolical. This is the well, of course, I Diabolical. Diabolical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here it is. All right. Got it, got it, got it. It's uh, Diabolical, uh, uh, D-I-A-B-O-L. I C O L at uh, dot deviantart dot com. So uh, and uh, we have um, all the page, uh, all of, like the the, 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 the the sorry the concept art and um, and uh, some of, some of his other artwork up there too. So very cool. Okay, man. So, hey, yeah. thanks a lot for hanging out on the panel today. Live, mega fun. What an experience. Amazing experience. Dude, yeah. man. You know, we've been through a uh, badass few days. It really has. My ass is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> Two hours every day sitting around here. Thanks for hanging out with us, Sean. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for pleasure. taking the time coming down, awesome. talking to us on the on the power over here. Joe Daddy's it's cool silent. Actually, uh, yeah, it's cool. I actually feel like I'm there with you. It's pretty cool. You've been you're wearing your boxers and you're in front of your TV. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, no, I'm not even wearing boxers. <laughs> well, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Lewis, you got a nice uh, pack of garbage called Kids. Uh,